Um, hello. I'm here. I'm going to talk about exploring exploring Chinese called China's culture diversity, and my magazine title is Dragon Echo and Dragon. So hi, I'm Xin Guo. I'm an international student from China, and my hometown is Beijing. Now I'm a senior major in media and communication and fashion business. So uh, here's my cover and content. Uh, she her name is Liu Wen, and she's really a famous uh, model model in China, and she was the first uh, woman. Um, attend Victoria's Secret um, from China. And my content, which is important part, page 4 to 6 is introduction of dragon of fashion. Page 10 is Chinese culture and interview. Page 13 is how to connect the new generation of China global art and culture through technology, which is interview too. And page 14 to 15 is global issue, uh, global communication of Chinese culture in the digital area, internal motivation, external challenges. So here is four pages of the introduction of dragon of fashion. Dragon dragon is really a um significant symbol of China, and this year twenty twenty four is the dragon year, and uh, which is uh continue with twelve years. Last last time of dragon years twenty uh twenty twelve. And dragon have been a recruiting motive in fashion history, symbolize power, ministry, and activism. They're using clothing, accessories, and various culture and area, reflecting different meaning and styles. And Asian medieval influence and in the Asian of China, Empire used the dragon symbol um, um, on the clothes. So here is some picture exploring China. Here's in Guilin and here's in Beijing and here's in Shanghai. So this artist is really a famous art tree of China. And the interviewer, his name is Ma Jun. And basically he was talking about the in inclusive of Chinese reporter of it and how can foreigner use their Chinese friend and contact culture. He said, Chinese people are basically friendly. When you get new to uh, China, Chinese people, they will take you to eat Chinese food, spend Chinese holiday, or take you to Chinese culture events. And the more importantly is, what's the best way to learn about the real modern China? Because there are some bias um, in the all oh, the world about China. They think it is really a bad country or something like that but he said in the big city like shanghai beijing shenzhen you can always find a sign of the modern china but if you want to know more about real china and chinese people you can go to the middle of or western regional it's a big small town or village and explore the local chinese and here's the great wall and here's in the um the middle palace and some significant advertisement Here's another interview um, for Chinese people. Her name is Emily, um, but ch her Chinese name is Zhang Dexin. The, inter the interview of, with Emily, she's a CEO of STW, and she explored her journey as a female entrepreneur in the tr culture tech industrial, and she decided her interview with STW, and Emily, her experience as female entrepreneur after learning and realize face and challenges. So basically, it's talking about how to connect the new generation of China global art and culture through technology. And here is a global uh, issue about China, China. So global communication of Chinese culture in the digital area, internal motivation and external. So um you can you guys can read it for a moment. So uh the last part is the real um times, which is from US 
and I put this magazine's cover on here because that is really a two sim two significant color of China is red and yellow, and Liao um Zhongguo Ying Liao is means Zhong China's wing China's wing, and here is the back of the magazine, which is the Great Wall. It's really a uh important part of China. It have five thousand years history. Thank you. Um, here's my phone number. If you have any question, you can contact me. And for this class, I learned about a lot of for um fashion industrial fashion uh history and fashion how this work and how to connect with social media and how to connect with um the real world something like that. Thank you so much.